Florida A&M University today dismissed four students in connection with the death of a member of the school's marching band. 26-year-old Robert Champion died last month, and police believe that hazing was involved. Mark Strassman reports on the investigation. The Marching 100 is the face of Florida A&M, high energy, precision performers who played at President Obama's inauguration. But the death last month of 26-year-old drum major Robert Champion exposed a scourge the band's longtime director admits he could not control. Would you agree that there was a culture of hazing? There is a culture of hazing. Dr. Julian White became headband director in 1998, but he was fired four days after Champion was found alone and unresponsive in a band bus. When they were giving him CPR, he was on the bus? Yes. Was he conscious? No. The cause of death is still under investigation, but police who interviewed band members believe hazing is to blame. So does White. He suspects Champion was beaten in a hazing ritual. For years, he says he tried to crack down on hazing with workshops and a zero tolerance policy, but he could not break the band's secret abusive culture. The saxophones are Gestapo. The clarinets are clones. It's like gang names. Yes. Yes. Were they like gangs to you that to you me, had to, to me, get under control? Yes, they were like gangs. Over the years, White estimates he threw out 100 band members for hazing. And he showed us numerous letters he says he sent to administrators pleading for a tougher response. More students should have been terminated from school. Did you push for that and in some cases not get it? Yes, yes. Yes. You pushed. Yes. Get rid of these kids. This kid. Get rid bad of them. news. Get rid of their bad news, yes. And the response was? The response. Uh, we're going to rehabilitate, we're going to give them counseling. Just 10 days before Champion's death, White suspended 26 band members for suspected hazing and reported them to the university for rituals which included paddling. It was right before the band's biggest performance of the year. I think that the university could have uh, not allowed the band to perform at the Florida Classic. Had you recommended that? It was recommended and I supported it. However, the decision was beyond those attending the meeting. In other words, the top university officials said the band will perform, the show will go on. There was never any doubt, there was never any question that the band would not perform. Robert Champion was found lying on the band bus after that game. Florida A&M officials declined our repeated request for an interview but said in a statement, the university took appropriate action when it was notified of specific hazing incidents. More than anything, we want to find out what happened to Robert Champion. Shouldn't someone have done more to protect them? I think that more could have been done. I think that, and, and I feel very comfortable that I did all I could. I'm not proud that I lost one of my children. Robert Champion was to become the band's head drum major next year. Mark Strassman, CBS News, Atlanta.